plane with a very big problem. He's afraid of heights. To find out what happens when Dusty enters a high-flying race, you can read along with me in your book. You will know it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Let's begin now. Dusty Crophopper spent his days flying over the crops of Crop Wash Junction, spraying them with Vitaminimulch. But in his dreams, Dusty soared higher, racing jets across the sky. Leadbottom, Dusty's boss, didn't understand why Dusty wanted to race. Pay attention! You're daydreaming again. Dusty tried to explain. Look, I am more than just a crop duster. Dusty wanted to compete in the Wings Around the Globe rally, and the qualifying race was coming up soon. Dusty's best friend, Chug the Fuel Truck, helped Dusty practice. Okay, now let's try some tree line vocals. Even with Chug's directions, Dusty needed to go faster if he wanted to get into the rally. So, Chug suggested a coach with some flying experience. My buddy Sparky says the skipper was a legendary flight instructor in the Navy. Skipper had been a hero in the Jolly Wrenches flying squad. He hadn't flown in a long time, but everyone still talked about his daring and dangerous missions. Dusty was nervous about asking him for help. I was wondering if you would train me? Skipper refused. Go home. You're in over your head, kid. Dusty and Chug kept practicing anyway. Soon it was time for the racing trials. Dusty flew as fast as he could, but he missed making it into the wings around the globe rally by a fraction of a second. Dusty sadly went home. That night, a race official visited Prop Wash Junction. He said that another racer had been disqualified for cheating. Chug cheered for his friend. He's in, Dusty's in the race. After hearing the news, Skipper decided to help Dusty get ready for the big race. He told Dusty all about cloud streaks that would help Dusty reach top speed. But when Dusty tried to fly higher, he got very scared. He told Skipper a secret. I'm afraid of heights. Scared of heights and you want to race around the world? Skipper was shocked, but he decided he could work around Dusty's problem. He taught Dusty to race the shadows of high-flying planes so that Dusty could stay close to the ground. They trained together every day until it was time for the rally. All of Dusty's favorite racing heroes were at the rally, including Bulldog, Ripslink, and Ishani. Some of the racers, like Bulldog, weren't very friendly. This is a competition, every plane for himself. But one plane, El Chupacabra, was excited to meet Dusty. We will have many adventures, you and I. I will see you in the skies, amigo. Soon, the first leg of the race began. The plane zoomed off toward Iceland. But Dusty didn't try to climb as high as the other planes. As he glided just above the Atlantic Ocean, he flew into a fierce storm. Then, he had to swerve around huge icebergs. Dusty wasn't the only plane having trouble, though. During the next leg of the race, Bulldog sent out a call for help. Dusty zoomed over. Apply your left aileron. Stop roll. Now quick, pull up. Dusty guided Bulldog to a safe landing. Thanks for your help, matey. Bulldog didn't understand why Dusty had slowed down to help him, but he was still grateful. The next part of the race was to India. Dusty surprised everyone by moving up to eighth place. His fast flying and kind actions earned him fans all over the world. But Rip Slinger was not one of those fans. Why are they wasting their time with him? He's a tractor with wings. Rip Slinger thought that crop dusters shouldn't compete with real racing planes. With just two legs left in the race, Dusty moved into second place. But the next flight across the Pacific Ocean would be long and dangerous. Before the race, Dusty radioed his friends in Prop Wash Junction. Skipper was especially worried. 
Be careful. Before they hung up, Chug had some big news to tell Dusty. We're going to meet you in Mexico. Dusty was so excited. Really? However, before Dusty could reach Mexico, one of Ripslinger's teammates broke Dusty's navigation antenna. Dusty flew for miles in the wrong direction. He was about to run out of gas when two Navy jets approached. Dusty asked them for help. I'm running on papers. I need to land. The jets led Dusty to the Dwight D. Fleisenhauer, Skipper's old ship. On board, Dusty saw the Jolly Wrench's Wall of Fame. But only one mission was listed under Skipper's name. Dusty was sure it was a mistake. The Navy planes refueled Dusty before he took off again. But soon, Dusty was caught in a terrible storm. He was too scared to fly above it, so he was badly damaged. He barely made it to Mexico. When he landed, Dusty talked to Skipper. One mission? Skipper finally told Dusty the truth. On his first mission, his team had been in a terrible battle. Skipper lost many of his friends. After that, I just couldn't bring myself to fly again. I'm sorry, Dusty. Dusty felt like giving up. He had so many broken parts that he didn't think he could finish the rally. As Dusty thought about dropping out, Ishani rolled by to wish him luck on the race. But she wasn't alone. A huge group of racers arrived pulling carts loaded with new parts for Dusty. El Chu even brought a pair of new wings. Amigo, I cannot bear the thought of competing without you. Dusty was so grateful. Soon, Dusty was running better than ever. He was ready to hit the skies for the last leg of the race. But Ripslinger still wanted Dusty to lose. Ripslinger's teammates tried to make Dusty crash. Looks like you've run out of airspace, crop hopper. Dusty thought he was done for, until Skipper came flying to help. Even though he was scared, Skipper knew he had to save his friend. Dusty caught up to Ripslinger, but he couldn't go fast enough to pass the champion plane. Dusty looked up and saw a fast cloud street overhead. Don't look down. Ugh, don't look down. Taking a deep breath, he flew higher and higher. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ripslinger was so focused on the cheering fans, he didn't realize that Dusty was flying high above him. Ripslinger flashed a big smile at the cameras. Get my good side, fellas. At the last second, Dusty zoomed past Ripslinger and won the race. The crop duster had conquered his fear of heights. And now, his high-flying adventures were just beginning.